uh, sport mode and manual mode actually change the engine parameters uh, in regards to throttle position, engine load, um, or sorry, throttle percentage, engine load, timing, uh, and all that fun stuff. So, as you can see, I'm recording live data straight from my ECU. Right now, I'm in full automatic mode, no sport mode, nothing. Um, so let's uh, keep up with traffic here <laughs> to start. Um, all right, so I'm going to switch into manual mode. Now, according to the WIS uh, for SOP, uh, the only time that the parameters do change is when you've engaged either manual mode or sport mode and you begin to accelerate. You actually have to step on the pedal to activate that mode. So I'm going to switch into manual. I'm in fifth gear and I'm gonna give it a bit of throttle here. All right, and now I'm going to switch back into full standard automatic. I'm not gonna change the accelerator pedal position, but the throttle position is going to change. So not that much of a difference. Uh, now I'm going to switch into sport mode and I'm going to do the same thing. So I've now engaged sport mode, give it a bit of gas, okay, now I am going to turn off sport mode and just be in regular automatic in a sec here, and I'm going to try to maintain the exact throttle position, I'm not going to move my foot, and here's how much of a difference it makes. So you'll notice the timing immediately changed, the throttle percentage immediately changed. Um, didn't even look to see if, yeah, I think engine load changed as well. Yeah, engine load changed as well. So it does actually make a fair amount of difference. Um, and I don't believe that it is as simple as just changing the throttle position and the shift points. I do believe that there is more going on with it than just those parameters. Um, I know the general consensus is the fact that, you know, oh, it just changes the throttle position and the shift points, but I think there is more wizardry going on behind the scenes than we even know. Uh, now, in regards to uh, kickdown, obviously in sport mode, the car is lightning fast. The throttle response is pretty much instantaneous. Um, give it a quick stab of the throttle here in just regular automatic mode with kickdown. And uh, now I'm going to engage sport mode and I will do the same kick down here. So it, it is a pretty remarkable difference in regards to the amount of immediate power that you do get. Anyway, I just thought this would be an interesting video to show uh, you know, with engine parameters actually up on the screen while I'm engaging all the different modes. Uh, so you can see for yourself the differences that it does make. Um, yeah, if you have any uh, comments or anything, uh, let me know down below. Thanks for watching and subscribing to my channel. And if uh, you have not subscribed to my channel, uh, why don't you subscribe to my channel? And that's pretty much it for this one. Just wanted to do a very quick thing. And I'll, you guys will see me on my next video. Peace. again in regular mode, give it a quick stab at the throttle, watch the turbo boost gauge, so it slowly builds up some pressure, and now let's see what happens in sport mode, and here we go, big difference, big difference, difference, difference.